you probably have one of these, a home printer. But what you're about to see is a home printer. You are witnessing what may be the most significant change in home construction. That is a giant 3D printer, and it's spitting out the walls of a brand new house. Just two men, one with a tablet, building, or shall we say, printing a house, versus traditional building methods, which would typically require a dozen set of hands. This is the way of the future. This will become mainstream. This will become widespread. And duck, duck, seriously. <laughs> there you go, no duck. The printer's nozzle layers the walls with a concrete-type mixture, computer-guided construction, which is more precise than a pastry chef's skilled hands decorating a cupcake. It feels a little bit like Play-Doh. How quickly does it harden here? Quickly enough to stack on top of it, right? It's got to stay flowable enough to get to the printer, but then it's got to harden up enough for us to stack on top of it. And that's the secret sauce. Perhaps most significantly, what would typically take a construction crew 10 months to build is now accomplished without wood or nails in about half the time. This may sound like a novel experiment, but it is so much more than that. Here in the Texas Hill Country, in this 1,000-acre subdivision, they're building 100 homes like this, a place that someday may be known as the spot that home construction changed forever. To best understand the sea change happening here in Georgetown, Texas, consider Lennar, one of the largest home builders in the United States, has teamed with the inventors of this giant printer, an Austin-based tech company called Icon. I believe we are on the brink here of doing something very special, something very innovative, and no one's ever done it, no one's ever built 100 homes uh, with 3D printers. It's also unusual, 3D printing a house? Well, I know it sounds unusual, but this technology is actually one that's existed for a while. Dimitri Julius is one of the brains behind this tech that allows for walls that are curved, even wavy if you want, and at the same time are so incredibly solid. So that means something like this can withstand potentially uh, hurricanes is, a, is an interesting use case. We're currently building houses on the Texas Gulf Coast, thinking specifically about uh, the durability of a concrete material. If all of this sounds like it's out of this world, like something from the Jetsons, then you're on to something because... Three, two, one. NASA, which just launched Artemis to orbit the moon this week, is working with ICON. We, we are planning on putting a 3D printer on the moon with NASA. And beyond? That's the hope. Mars? That's the dream. Mars. Someday, printed homes up there. But first, here on Earth, the test homes have shown they're more energy efficient and usually quiet. The walls, they feel a little bit like corduroy. A printed house, what maybe one day future generations will find commonplace. My son's uh, 15 months old. Will this be routine when he's 15 years old? If it is, we've succeeded. Guys, I think we have just glimpsed the future. I so. Mm. I agree. I, hey, it, that was fascinating. It was. Really but here's good. the question, though, Carrie. I mean, the... You know, the, the technology and the cool factor notwithstanding, I think a lot of folks are probably wondering, like, what about people who work in this industry? Is this going to lead to folks who don't have jobs? You know, I put that question to Icon, the inventors here, and they point it out, and anybody who's done construction, even a small job around the house already knows this, uh, there's a real shortage in this country. That's of true folks to do that construction work. Mm -hmm. And so that's part of the reason we have more than 500 or 5 million houses that are needed but are not built. And so ICON thinks this will supplement that. This will not put people out of work because right now uh, there aren't enough people to do the jobs anyway. And are the, homes, are the homes affordable? <laughs> well, you know, it depends. They have actually built some of these homes down first in Mexico, okay. and they wanted to test them out to see how they would work. And so they built smaller homes. They can be cheaper, especially when you go to scale. But down there in Mexico, not only did they withstand some floods, but they had a 5.5 
shaker, you know, an earthquake, yeah. and the yeah. homes withstood that. So, mm -hmm. yes, the homes that we saw there in uh, in Georgetown, Texas, they're going to start at around the mid 400s. Okay. Um, Okay. You know, it really yeah. depends your budget. But, Absolutely. you know, as more and more are built, prices will drop. That's Absolutely. true. It's yeah. fascinating. Thank story. you, Carrie. That was cool. Yeah. Really Thank cool. you, Carrie. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.